My wife hates me. She just lives to tolerate me. My kids are spoiled. I lived a sheltered life as a kid, man. I'm telling you, it's just, life is not what you think it is until you get out there and you experience life at the fullest. I mean, you get a job, you get a family, you get a white picket fence, you get a house, and really it all comes down to how much money are you making and how, how, how are you going to support your family and will your family even care about you and are you going to find friends who will care about you and treat you like a friend should well the problem is people you know is that you know the real me is not who you are seeing the real me is just someone who has given up and I really have just given up and, uh, well, this is just hard for me to talk about. Recently, my best friend passed away. He died of, uh, he died of cancer. He was a good friend, a loyal, loving friend someone you could actually call a friend and that's not really something you can say because friendship is hard to earn and when you do earn it it usually is a dark deep-seated thing there's something behind it and why they want to be your friend you know trust is hard to be earned trust has to be earned um, but really you know it's uh, it, it all comes down to circumstance you need to have no scratch that rewind you need to find that circumstance you need to search the world for that circumstance to have the good quote-unquote circumstance good quote-unquote and nothing is really inherently good we all are evil and good we have a bit of badness in us and goodness within our hearts none of us are quote-unquote perfect and when you go out into the world and search for that circumstance where you fall in love, you get married, you live together, you learn more about each other as time goes on, have children, have a home, you find yourself finding out about yourself. I know that really doesn't make much sense. It sort of catches you off guard because you will learn things about yourself that you never knew before. How angry you can get. How depressed you can get. You you think you're depressed now because you're lonely? Just wait until you're married. That is when the lonely years start. Because once you're in love, it's fine. It's dandy. It seems all peaches and roses. Once you're married, the cake has become rotten. And, you know, it's not so much that I want to be a... Oh, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, that I want to be a person who sleeps around, cheats on his wife. And it's not so much that I want to be a bachelor. It's not that at all. And what it comes down to, truly comes down to, is how much attention is that wife paying to you after you got married. Things change when you get married. It's not as adventurous. She doesn't want to do the things she used to do with you. And it just becomes dull, insane, inane, asinine, and totally, utterly 
boring as a pile of steaming crap. And I kid you not, I give up. Yeah, that doesn't mean you have to. But again, find your circumstance. And when you do, you will either end up like me, or you'll learn from your actions and become a better and much more amazing JW Accent. This is JW Accent signing off.